Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back, and uh, today I'm feeling a little better. I'm not gonna do like, I still don't really have the energy to do like editing and all of that stuff, but I thought I would do like a very simple video today. It's still very hard to hear myself, like this ear still completely blocked, so I don't know, it's just really bothering me. But I did buy something recently. Um, I have yet to actually start reading it, but I got a new book, because if you guys remember, I talked to you guys about like how I read that book, All the Bright Places, and I got into it and I cried and it was such a big deal. And I've never really been one for reading. Like I, I just don't really enjoy reading, but I think if the book that I'm reading is based on a movie that I enjoyed, then I can seem to get into it because I already have the visuals in my head from the movie. Um, so I bought this book because I love the movie. I watched the movie just the other day to refresh my memory. I hadn't seen it in years. It is a 2010 movie called Let Me In, and it is based on a, a Swedish movie, which I don't remember when that one came out, but that one's called Let the Right One In, which I also saw. Um, personally, I preferred the English one because... Well, just because it was like the Swedish one, it was when I watched it, I mean, maybe today it would be like English dubbed, but when I watched it, you literally had to read subtitles and I hated it. Um, however, the movies themselves looked pretty similar in like the, the story, but it is basically about a vampire girl who is a young girl. She's 12 years old, except she's been 12 years old for the last like so many hundreds of years. She moves in next door in this apartment complex next door to this little boy who's around the same age. He gets bullied a lot at school. He's got no friends, me. But this kid lives right next door to her. He's like very fascinated by who this strange girl is. Um, the movie itself is great. And they befriend each other outside on the rails. There's like a, you know, the climbing rails that kids play on. The apartment complex is like surrounded the this like rail thing that you can play on. And he spends a lot of his time just sitting on those alone, um, playing with a Rubik's Cube. And they kind of connect with each other over a Rubik's Cube. She doesn't know what one is, but she likes puzzles. He shows her how to do it. Um, and it's, 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 it's really romantic. It's not really a horror movie. It does have like some jumpy, scary scenes, I guess. Um, but I would say it's more of a dark, like a gothic love story in a way. But anyway, I bought the book and this is the book. And uh, I really am excited to read it. It says right there, the phenomenal international bestseller. And it says up there, now a major motion picture from the director of Cloverfield, which I watched the first time I ever saw that movie. I was on a plane. And um, it's by John, I uh, don't know how to pronounce that, Lindqvist. I can't pronounce that. It's a Swedish author. Um, he wrote, or she, is it John? Yeah, it's it's a man's name. But he wrote the original one, which I believe was would have been called Let the Right One In. Um, and then they made the Swedish movie, Let the Right One In. And then they made the American version of the movie, or I guess the book too. I don't know when the book came out exactly. Oh, it says 2010, so it says 2010 film. So I guess the book was made, like it was translated into an English book after the English movie came out. Um, and this one's the Let Me In. And I'm really excited to read it. It says on here, it was like $16 and $18.50. And dollars and 50 cents in Canada um but I, I got it for like a couple of dollars because it was like it's used but it was like a grade a or something so it's it's pretty much perfect it's just a little discolored and stuff like that which you can kind of see a little bit it kind of goes yellowish um but the book itself is in great condition I haven't started reading it yet I gotta motivate myself to do it but the movie was great I loved the movie so much that I was like this is my kind of thing like I love this kind of movie like a dark romance um it's kind of what I've always wanted in my life and uh yeah I think it was really cute and I bought the book and the book reminded me of tattoo doesn't it remind you of tattoo like not gonna get us in the snow and the ice and they're like the two kids holding hands together because of course you can't see but that's the boy right there well I guess you can tell that's the girl but that's the boy um but yeah it just reminded me of tattoo but I thought it's interesting the cover it took me a while to notice but he's got footprints in the in the snow and she hasn't you see and I don't really understand why because I mean she's got like whoa I didn't even notice that until right now but if you look under her feet she doesn't have footprints going up to her feet but she has blood under her feet and basically they call it let me in because she has to be invited into anywhere she goes so like for example this kid's house um if she wants to go into his house she has to say to him you have to invite me or i can't come in so he would be like um 
she'd be like, can I come in? He would say, sure. And she would be like, okay, but you have to say it. And he says to her, well, what happens if I don't say it? And she comes in without him inviting her in one scene to, like, in the movie to show her, like to show him what would happen to her. And it was really disturbing. Um, and yeah, it's, I won't spoil it, but if you guys haven't seen that movie, I definitely recommend it. It's a good movie. It's definitely worth watching. But as you guys know, I am trying my hardest to get back into reading. I say get back into it like I've done it before. I've literally read like three books in my entire life. I think a couple of books that I've read successfully, not including Cat in the Hat, but um, like actual books like this, actual novels that are kind of thick. Um, I got through Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. That was a good book. Uh, I got really into that one and I hadn't even seen the movie when I read that book, but I just like got into it and I was re I started reading that one at an airport because I was flying and you know when you always buy like the airport book even though it's like so overpriced, but I wanted to read something to pass the time a little um, and I another one that I read was The Haunting of Sunshine Girl, which is a YouTube channel that's on here. Uh, haven't seen it in a while, but it was run by a girl named Paige McKenzie, and she had three books. There was The Haunting of Sunshine Girl, the, the first book, then there was like The Curse of Sunshine Girl, and then The, the Revenge of Sunshine. It was something like that. There was like three parts. I have all three books. Um, I only ever read the first one, and then I got halfway through the second one, and I kind of gave up. Then I started to read The Ring, got halfway through that one and gave up. I don't know why, but that was literally 10 years ago and I still have yet to pick it up. Still got my bookmarker in there and everything, but I just haven't carried on reading it. Another one that I have read successfully, which really isn't one to brag about because it's a very thin book and it's actually only part of an actual bigger book and it was Stephen King's The Body and it's based on the movie Stand By Me. However, the book for just The Body is only a very thin book like this, uh, maybe a hundred pages, maybe a little bit more. Um, didn't take long to read through that, but that's actually just it from like, it's just one story from a four story book. And the book is like four seasons or something like that. And that's the story that takes place in the summertime, I think. So it was just like four different seasonal stories. And um, yeah, I haven't read the other ones yet though, but I, I kind of want to get that book though, like The Four Seasons by Stephen King. I do have the It book right here. Haven't read that, never going to read it. <laughs> it's, I mean, I will, I want to, but it's just so big and scary. Um, just to look at that, it's like, there's no way in hell I could read that. But I guess I love It. I mean, I love the movie, so I guess I could like put myself in the mood to read it but i just i feel like it's such a daunting book to look at but yeah i just wanted to show you guys this i'm really excited to start reading it i don't know when i'll be done but when i've read it i'll give you guys a little review on this and tell you how it's different from the movie but let me know in the comment section guys have you ever read books do you read books do you not like them are you like me you just can't you, i have a hard time imagining like stuff in a book unless i've seen it all before in a movie that helps me to get through the book i guess i don't know some people like to make their own little world by reading but i'm just not that creative i guess i get bored very easily reading a book but i really want to be a reader like i want to be one of those people that's like hey guess what i read books i don't know Ladies, ladies, calm down. <laughs> I know. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Smash a like on the video, and I'll see you right back here tomorrow. Peace out and chase your dreams.